Welcome to Serving Locally with me, your host, Michelle Dinas, a podcast where we spotlight service in the Longmont and surrounding communities. All right, let's connect. Welcome to Serving Locally with me, your host, Michelle. Today, we are here with Molly and Heather of the City Longmont Recreation Department, and I'm just going to start off with um, introducing Molly and just a lo- just let us know who you are and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Molly Morris. I am an aquatics program coordinator for the City of Longmont. So my area of expertise is kind of at the pool, working with lifeguards, swim teams, a lot of programming, different events. Um, I have been in aquatics for a little over 11 years now. Wow. So a lot of experience. It's stayed with me my whole life, and it's something I'm very passionate and excited to be in. Awesome. Mm-hmm. And then also welcome um, Heather. Hi. Um, my name is Heather. I am currently the swim lesson specialist at the city of Longmont. Um, and I absolutely love it. I've kind of gone through through a lot of different careers. Not a lot. Some different careers. Um and, and I started teaching some lessons when I was 15, um, and I've just gravitated my way back there, and I just absolutely love it and would highly recommend it to anyone. And I am Michelle, and I am a supervisor at the ice rink this year, and that's been awesome. So um, we're all on the same team. That's, been, yeah. that's great. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you could just give us a quick overview of what the City of Longmont Recreation is all about. So the City of Longmont Recreation is all about providing a safe, friendly, fun family atmosphere for the youth and families of Longmont and even senior citizens all use our recreation center. Um, It's a way to get active, healthy, and enjoy your community. That's awesome. I like mm-hmm. that. Is there anything you'd like to add to that? We've got we've got lots of different options. We've got our indoor recreation pool, which is great for families. We've got two big slides. We got the little baby slide. Lots of water features. Lazy river, mm-hmm. diving board. There's six lap lanes. Um, we have Centennial Pool, which is a little bit on the older side, but it's it's really great for those morning lap swimmers where you can get some morning workouts in. Um, and then we program it heavy with swim lessons and uh, Kara swim team diving classes, all those fun things. Um, We also have Sunset Pool, which is really fun, our outdoor pool. Um, Also has two big water slides, a high dive, low dive, six lap lanes, lots of room for activities. Um, And then our ice rink and Union Reservoir. We have lots of opportunities for people to have fun in the water. That's great. We've gone to a couple of things. Union, my husband likes to go fishing at Union. Um, We've gone swimming there. That's been fun. Um, the kids took swim lessons at Centennial, and mm-hmm. we live right just up the street from Centennial Pool, so that's great. We have, we've gone to the Longmont Rec Center, and my daughter's like, we need to go swimming, and I'm like, yeah, maybe next time, so we need to do those things, but um, yeah, that's awesome. What is your focus at the City of Longmont Recreation? Um, so yeah, we're we're mainly focused on teaching people how to be safe near and around the water. Um, we have our our lifeguards that are that are ready to act at any moment, um, and they're they're preventing. Um, you know, any any traumatizing experiences that may happen, right? We're we're the memory makers of the pool mm-hmm. and we really wanna keep wanna keep those memories positive and fun. Um, mm-hmm. we wanna give people the opportunity to go to the birthday parties with their friends and go mm-hmm. swimming and be able to go off the diving board and not be not 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 be stuck in a life jacket or stuck in the shallow end, right? You can go have fun. Um, and there's lots of other cool water activities that go on beyond the pool, right? You know Take it through your whole life. You can go scuba diving, kayaking, right? Paddle boarding, just safe on a boat. You can go fishing, right? Lots of lots of other things. It's a super important life skill. Um, and we just want to make it positive and a fun experience for everybody. I love that. To mm-hmm. focus on safety for everybody. That Yeah, I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. my focus at the ice rink, too. Just making sure everybody's mm-hmm. safe and calling ambulances if I need to. And having fun as well, Absolutely. right? Right. Those the ice memories. rink is yeah, a great place to have fun. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, and it's such a, as Sarah said, it's a novelty. So it's you know, it's short lived, but man, you can make some great memories. I know my daughter being able to skate there this year, she's just absolutely loved it, and that's going to stick with her. And that that means a lot to me as a mom. 
Right. And in a good, safe environment where I know that it's going to be okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. awesome. Um, who are you trying to reach at your organization? I think we're trying to outreach to all of the city of Longmont community as well as areas beyond. We have uh, quite a few people who come in from other areas because they know that we provide that really safety forward and very fun environment. And we also have some of the best swim instructors that can provide this amazing programming that people do come for. Mm -hmm. And as well as the outreach, we also have a lot of internal reach. So think the youth of Longmont, we hire all kinds of teenagers. The amount, I think I did over 40 interviews Mm -hmm. for 15 year olds getting their first job last year. So we're providing these life experiences, that opportunity to grow, that opportunity to learn things in a very safe, like it's okay to be wrong sometimes and this is, the time to do it when you're that young. And so we get that outreach and building these experiences for people in the community. I really like working with um, the the kids, the youth. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, those 15-year-olds coming in, mm-hmm. it's their first job. I like that they get a good experience and mm-hmm. a good foundation because yep. at some jobs it's mm-hmm. lackluster. You know, you can get mm-hmm. away with being um, disrespectful mm-hmm. or, you know, coming to work without a uniform. And that's not okay. Like, right. you need to start off these good habits. And um, mm-hmm. that you guys hire so many so young mm-hmm. like, is a great is, is a great thing mm-hmm. just for, not just for those kids, but the, for the community mm-hmm. to start them out on a good foundation of mm-hmm. what it's like to be in the real world mm-hmm. and having a job, yeah. a real-life job. I think one thing we are really proud of at the city of Longmont is we retain our staff really well, too. We've had some staff that have been there that it was their first job, and they're still with us five years later. Yeah, that's great. So we pride ourselves on making that really amazing environment that people want to come back to, not just our staff, but the patrons as well. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. I mean, that's, mm-hmm. that's huge. It's a really rewarding experience to get to see somebody terrified of the water, not wanting to get in at all, to wanting to jump in the 12 feet and and able to do that right it's that it's confidence it's yeah. huge yeah. and and from the parent side too right you see you see all their anxiety just wash away mm-hmm. it's it's really a fun rewarding job and it's super flexible you can you can make it work around your school schedule you can just do a couple hours a week you can mm-hmm. you know you can combine it with lifeguarding and you can work daytime hours mm-hmm. if, if that's your availability right there's lots of different options mm-hmm. um and, and you get to go home and feel good about what you did with your day, you no, know? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. No, I'm, as an employee, I mm-hmm. feel that. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. What makes the work of Longmont Recreation different than other similar serving organizations? Yeah, so the city of Longmont really strives to reach everyone. Um, we have a lot of different opportunities for people to get in, whether, you know, of their financial status. Um, we have a 200 free swim lesson program that we did last year and we're doing again this year. Um, and, and we're basically giving 200 people between six to eight lessons totally free, um, getting them in the door, start to learn to love the water. Um, and then we have scholarship opportunities and lots of lots of other channels that they can take some lessons um, and and learn to love the water. It's it's really great, um, you know. And and teaching that life skill is just so essential to everybody. So one thing that's really cool is we are part of the Colorado Parks and Rec Association. So places like the YMCA or other organizations that aren't part of this, they don't get the opportunity the same that we do as we have subsidized free swim meets for our swim team because we are part of the state and part Mm -hmm. of the municipality organization. So we cover our swim team dues for the most part. You have to pay for your practice, but we pay for the swim meets. They have the opportunity to go compete with other kids all across the front range for free. Um, Another thing is a lot of organizations require you, if you're going to work there, to get your certification and pay for that whole certification. We offer a hugely discounted certification program. So if you're going to come work for us, like your CPR and your first aid, if you need that to work for us, we will take care of that. We'll get you in our class. We'll run you through our program and you'll get that certification. So for our lifeguards, the cost of a class in Denver right now is almost $350. And for a city of Longmont employee, we will provide that at the cost of the class, which is about fifty dollars. Wow! So we and it's here. It'd be local then. And it would be local. And it's a straight avenue into a job, right? With a really fun community. Mm -hmm. So 
It's also a nationally recognized certification that you could take anywhere, mm -hmm. right? You take to other pools. Yeah, a lot of po most pools do recognize American Red Cross. Mm -hmm. So it's a great thing too. Uh, we have kids who work for us during the summer and then they go work at their pools at college. And so they have that continuous opportunity to take the skills that we're teaching them and keep using them. It's that's really cool. Fantastic. I didn't know that either. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I want to take a safety class. <laughs> it's a great building block for anybody that wants to go into nursing or mm -hmm. doctors or paramedics or anything where you need that CPR certification. You every, already have it. I honestly mm -hmm. think everybody should take it mm -hmm. to be a good, active, you know, part of your community to be able mm -hmm. to help people in that way. Mm -hmm. Why not take it? Because yeah. that could be anywhere. You can be at the grocery store and need CPR. Mm -hmm. um, even like life lifeguard mm -hmm. classes like that would be, I would love to take those just so I have that knowledge. Mm -hmm. Not just for my kids, but mm -hmm. anywhere I'm at, it could, you know, yeah. you can take that anywhere. So that's mm -hmm. that's a, not just, just for personal or just for family, but just for community. Mm -hmm. Which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to go along with that, we also have our swim instructor courses. So we have one American Red Cross water safety instructor. And then we also have our in-house Longmont swim instructor programs. And anyone who's interested in working with youth, we've had people who hardly knew how to swim. We'll teach them how to swim. And then we teach them, like, if you have passion about working with kids and you're passionate about teaching, it's a great opportunity to get into those lower levels of, like, hey, this is what it could be like. If you want to grow your career in this way, it's an awesome way. You learn more by teaching mm -hmm. at any rate. So I've learned that with the kids with homeschooling is the mm -hmm. more that they, they can help each other with their mm -hmm. schoolwork, the more they're learning themselves. So to be able to teach, mm -hmm. you know, if you're not really good at it, to mm -hmm. learn and then teach it, you are just using those skills yeah. and, and, and learning it more yourself. Mm -hmm. You're building your confidence. Mm -hmm. You're figuring out mm -hmm. how to talk to people, mm -hmm. how to talk to parents, how to mm -hmm. how to act professionally in a workplace. There's a lot mm -hmm. of really great benefits about working with the city of that's Longmont. Really yeah. All of that sounds mm -hmm. just wonderful. <laughs> what are your greatest needs? Our greatest needs right now is we have a lot of really great programs, and we would love to have more people to come help run them and teach and provide staffing so that we can continue to give back even more to the community right now. We have so many programs that our pool is out programmed on Sunday mornings. There is almost no room to add another class. Mm -hmm. And so getting more time that we can give to the community in our pool spaces, and having more people who are excited to come in and teach those things, I think is one of our biggest needs right now. Mm -hmm. And, and lifeguards too, right? People to watch those classes and mm -hmm. pool managers to make sure that everything's running. Mm -hmm. um, and as we said before, there's there's lots of room for opportunities, right? If you want mm -hmm. those early morning, those opening shifts right yeah. before you go to work, if you need those shifts while your kids are in school and, mm -hmm. and you just want to work those daytime hours or, or, you know, if you're in high school and you want to come after school, that's a good time. The flexibility with the schedule has been enormous mm -hmm. for for us me being mm -hmm. a homeschool mom and then all the other things that I do yeah. it's been amazing the support mm -hmm. that I've gotten from our team of mm -hmm. um yeah the flexibility of well, mm -hmm. I need to do this or the kids have a dentist mm -hmm. and it's like it's all good we got you you're like yeah. oh it's, that's that's incredible that I've mm -hmm. never I have not found that anywhere else Mm -hmm. We really are a strong team and everybody mm -hmm. kind of looks out for each other and, and takes mm -hmm. care of each other when we need to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a really great environment. Yeah. Any other needs? I think we want a new pool. A new pool? <laughs> yeah, I think we want a bigger pool, a new rec center, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> we would love to have that in our community. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any events coming up or volunteer opportunities? I know some events that I've been able to be a part of that mm -hmm. I don't know if you, do you guys I know that the ice rink and stuff has been involved with the, the parade and stuff, but that city is that recreation? But Which, the turkey trot was recreation. Yeah. The turkey trot was Longmont Lights is put on by the Longmont recreation Lights. department. So, yeah, it yeah. is. So, yeah, I've been able mm -hmm. to be a part of those for the last couple yeah. of years, turkey mm -hmm. trot and the Longmont Lights. So that's mm -hmm. been awesome. What other types of things do you guys have um, coming up or just throughout the year? And then um, volunteer opportunities. Yeah. I think we're really excited about our underwater Easter egg hunt coming up. Oh, so it's, we put a bunch of little eggs in the pool and kids get the opportunity to go swimming, diving for them. It's kind of an after hours event where we still have the pools open to kind of just have fun. Um, 
last year we had some golden eggs where we had prize baskets available. Um, and it was a, just a really fun family event, get people in, and a different way to celebrate the holiday. Um, any other events coming up? We have a couple of certification courses for co incoming staff. Um, over the course of spring break. So I know our lifeguard class is March 16th through 19th. We have. Yes. Um, we also have, we have lots of swim instructor options. So our in-house Longmont swim instructor program, we have one on March 9th um, and March 10th. That will be Saturday and a Sunday class. We tried to make that on spring break or right before spring break, make it easier for everybody. And then if you can't make that one, we have another one March 20th and 21st. That's a Wednesday and a Thursday, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that would just be kind of an all day on those two days. Um, and we would teach you um, how, to, how to hold kids, how to talk to parents, all the, all the little pieces of the swim lessons. And then um, once we hire you on, we would have you shadow with some other instructors for a session so you're not thrown to the wolves already. Um, and, then, and then once you're ready, we'll let you fly. Um, and it's, it's a really fun experience. Um, we also have a water safety instructor class, and that would be the American Red Cross certification that you can take anywhere. Um, that one is May 28th to May 31st. Um, mm -hmm. So that's a really good opportunity as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have our swim aid program, which is a really fun program for those kids under 15 um, that have a little bit of interest in getting into this or, or just testing it out and seeing what it's like. Um, so you would come for a four hour class and that would be on June, I think it's June 10th. Um, and you would just um, come to that class, get a little bit of shadowing experience. We teach you, we teach you the basics, um, and then you can volunteer at any of our lessons. And we'll we'll have you in with the with other instructors, highly experienced instructors. They'll be leading the class, but you get to just be in the class, working with the kids, kind of figuring out, you know, is this something that you really want to do? Um, and and then we'll keep we'll keep you going throughout the whole year if you want, or just in the summer. And then once you turn fifteen, we'll hire you on. Um, it's it's a really great opportunity. Yeah, that's fantastic. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I know my kids always looking to do something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We they like helping. We would love to have any and all help. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. Yes, yes. I like, I like that there's even for, you know, not just hiring, but that you can come and help mm -hmm. for younger kids. That's, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. And mm -hmm. and they get so much out of it too, oh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. they, they get to watch those kids that are terrified go all the way mm -hmm. to, to jumping in the deep end too, right? And they, they get to see that and then they're hooked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Cool. So how can people contact and find out more about um, Longmont Recreation? Um, I know I pretty sure it's already on my link tree because of being involved with the um, turkey trot and parade and Longmont Lights and stuff. But they're already on the link tree. I'll have all this stuff in the show notes, but go ahead and talk about um, how, how they can get in contact. Yeah, perfect. So you can reach out to reach out to any of us. You can reach out to me or Molly or any of the team. Um, we have kind of a group email. If you just email swim at longmontcolorado.gov, um, we'll take care of you and we'll send you to the right person there, answer any and all questions. Um, you're welcome to just come in and, and see what it's like, right? See see how lifeguards um, run their operations. See how see how some swim instructor classes look. See, see if this is something you even want to do. Um, and then we go from there. You know, we're, we're excited to, to see if this is something that you want to do. Yeah. I think we do a lot of giving a lot of opportunities to try it out, check it out. And then, you know, it may not be for everyone, but it is a really fun opportunity for quite a few people. And there's different opportunities within it. So we just find, Absolutely. finding that, that one mm -hmm. thing. Is there anything else you would like to add, maybe that you guys are passionate about, or you just feel like, oh, I really want to talk more about this, and I'll just give you guys the floor for a couple minutes of just whatever you feel like you would like to, to share? What do you have, Molly? I don't know. Uh, join our <laughs> swim team. <Yeah. laughs> our, so our swim team um, has been a feeder swim team to several of the high schools, so most recently, I had kids who have been swimming with me for the past year just join the girls' high school team. I can't remember which high school, but when I went and talked to their high school swim team about recruiting, we now have six kids who I coach how to swim, and we got them all the way, and now they're going into our lifeguarding class oh, on spring awesome. break. So that's one thing that's really cool about our opportunities at the rec center is that we have lifeguards who took swim lessons with us when they were little babies. 
And now to see them, like, they had such a great experience and their parents had a great experience that they're now being fed into our programs and they keep going. So it's a really cool thing to see just the growth that we're getting Mm -hmm. and then that our kids on the swim team, and I'm sure in swim lessons as well, they're having so much fun that they want to stay and then they want to come back and work for us. So, yeah, join the swim team. And there's lots of room for opportunities after that too, right? You can mm-hmm. you can go into management. You can mm-hmm. teach new instructors how to teach. You can mm-hmm. um, get lots of certifications. The city yeah. pays for a majority of your certifications. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's there's a million different things that you can do within the recreation department. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and and they can support you. It's mm-hmm. it's a really good. It's a great environment. Mm-hmm. I agree. I like it. <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah. So I just want to say thank you guys for coming mm-hmm. on the show and um, that, uh, you know, for, for, for all that you do in the community. I think that's that's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, these life skills and memories are something that is just rooted in a good community mm-hmm. and that helps strengthen a community for mm-hmm. sure. So, um, yeah, I just want to say thanks again. And um, thanks. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us, yeah, Michelle. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you to my guests, my listeners, and my supporters. Serving together, we can strengthen our community. Please like and subscribe. Do all those other things. You know you got to do them. Because that's the easiest way that you can serve right now. All right. Now go. Connect with others and be a blessing.